Okay, so my package from Big Bad Toy Store has finally arrived and I am anticipating this at the same time I am also trying to be realistic with myself. There is a possible chance that I'm going to be disappointed, but oh well, here goes nothing. There's only one way to find out, isn't there? And that's cutting the box open. So let's just get this sucker out of here and let's see what the god that Tamashi Nations have in store for me. All right, let's, oh yes, shipping box, of course. Mustn't forget those. Oh dear, my whole set is coming down apart. All right, so, so we have the shipping box for the Godzilla 1995 Ultimate Burning version. Okay, so let's get to it. All righty then. You know, I was really looking forward to this release at first. And then once the reviews started pouring in, everybody was just being so pessimistic about it. I could understand that to a certain point of view, considering a lot of people aren't satisfied with the paint job on this guy, especially around the eyes. And that's my main concern, because whenever I get blessed with a figure, it's, chances are I get the derpy eyes. But, you know, keeping our fingers crossed, here we have the interior, and we're just gonna let that slip out. Okay, in terms of packaging design, I get it. When you compare it to the original release, it does not hold a candle. And that's unfortunate, but for what it is, it's a pretty decent looking package. I disagree with the blue and the orange hue they went with. I would have preferred if they just went with a black and orange, but I'm getting really nitpicky. Overall, Package is nice, you get the back, take a look at what's inside, and all right, so uh, <laughs> let's get to the moment of truth already. You get your instructions which will come in handy in case you have no idea how to put these steam pieces on. Put that aside and let's pull this guy out. My goodness. There have been a lot of derpy eyes going around. So anyways, let's just, oh dear. My heart is racing. Glad they did away with the stupid tape on the clamshell packaging. That always annoyed me. All right, so let's pull them out. Whoa. Put that away for a minute, fix his foot. And he's out of the packaging. I'm literally shaking here. I don't want to look at his face, but I guess we have no choice. Get ready for the derpy eyes. Wonderful. I'm glad his eyes are not a complete derp fest. Other than that, I would have to say, you know, aside from a paint scuff here on the claw on the left hand, no, on the right hand, he looks pretty good. He is very, very shiny, and that was to be expected. And overall, I must say, I'm really happy with how he turned out.
So sweet, lucky me, I scored a good ultimate burning Godzilla. So let's take a look at what else it comes with. Of course, you know, you get your plastic bits to keep the figure safe. And inside the package, we, whoa, 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 what's going on here? Hey, oh, oh, shit. So with ultimate burning Godzilla, you also get an extra set of hands complete with steam effects to go along with him. And these are, you know, the main selling point for those of you who haven't picked up this earlier version of him. So overall, so overall, I would have to say I'm pretty satisfied with what I have so far. I'm definitely going to mess around with him, loosen a few of these stiff joints he has. But uh, overall, yeah, I like what I have so far. And that's always a good thing. You know, life's too short. Why nitpick everything when you could just sugarcoat it? I'm just kidding. No, seriously, guys. This figure looks pretty badass. And it's very stiff. But that could just be because of the paint job. Which I plan to loosen up a bit. Because it is really shiny. And, you know, it gives him the look that he had when he, you know, first appeared in the movie where he was wet. And throughout the movie, Burning Godzilla always looked like he was, you know, sweaty, he was s steamy. You know, it happens when you have steam coming out of your pores. You sweat, you look wet. And you know, it sets it apart from the original release, which is always cool. So, overall, I love this guy so far, and I look forward to taking some pictures of him and the review. The review will come. Now, I'm still working on the Shin Godzilla review. That's taking forever to do. Not gonna, it's not gonna be your typical review because I plan on adding some cool things to it to make it more interesting than your standard SH Monster Arts Shin Godzilla review. But I would like to say that the Evangelion Godzilla will be coming soon as well. So I definitely need to get the unboxing for this out and work on the review after that one. So yeah, still deciding when I make the review for this dude. But it'll definitely come before the Shin Godzilla one because, you know, uh, the Shin Godzilla is going to take a while. But overall, I like what I have here. Paint job isn't so bad on the teeth either. I mean, they are a little sloppy, but it's forgivable. I can let that slide. I can let that pass. Life's too short anyways. So don't forget to like comment and subscribe if you enjoyed the video and if you would like to see more and the review for this guy definitely follow me on instagram when you get the chance and i also want to give a shout out to the facebook group that i'm now a part of it is the gojitas monster and mech photography club so if you got a knack for taking photos of your favorite kaiju or mechs in a really sweet setups or dioramas then please join in. We'd love to have you on board. And we'll look forward to your contributions to our growing group. I will leave a link in the description below, so join in. All right, thanks for watching, everybody. See you later.